we're making a safety product that our children are going to sit in. That's what child restraint systems do. We want to protect the child as best we can in a crash. We're the only facility in the United States, perhaps the world, to have three crash test sleds. It's really been an evolution. We put the first sled in in 1989, 2004. We put in the first state-of-the-art sled, and then this year we put in the third. This allows us to do a great number of tests, and that's required because being the world's largest manufacturer of child restraints, we got to do the most tests of anybody. My purpose here at Durrell is to calibrate and maintain the crash test dummies. Their purpose is to resemble the human anatomy. I'll test each individual component one at a time in order to ensure that they're functioning properly. When they're done in here, they'll do their job out there. This is to simulate what would happen to a chest impact out there on the test sled. More than likely, it's going to be what happens when the impact occurs and the child comes forward into the seat belt and the chest is going to compress. And my job here is to make sure that under the known velocity and the precise setup of the dummy that the compression will fall within a certain limit. This is the last test of the whole calibration procedure. Once he's done here, I'll put him over there in the waiting room for his next round. There is a pre-flight checklist that our technicians have to go through for safety reasons. They make sure that the child is positioned correctly. We make sure that the cameras are set up to where we can capture the data for the head, the knees, for the chest. And inside the test dummies, there are accelerometers that relay the information up to us. And we're able to see that through charts and graphs and video. That data now becomes invaluable in making the next generation of design and helping us uh, make our product that much better. We have proposed a methodology to the government to become law called the Durrell Kettering Methodology for side impact testing on a car seat. The side impact test procedure and fixture are very unique. We worked with Kettering University in developing a procedure that would simulate what we feel is a true side impact where it has an intrusion factor into it, which is the most injurious type of crash in the real world. Everybody tests front to back, but we decided to start testing on, on the side impact. And what it does is it, it simulates the intrusion of the other vehicle going into the side and what that would do to a child. We're trying to lead the way in side impact. We do rear impact. Uh, we've done rollover. You know, we do all kinds of testing that's not required trying to make a safer, better product. We've made a commitment to making the best product we can make, and that's what we're going to do. I've been here quite a while, 34 years, but uh, it's more exciting now than ever. I have three children, but I have 57 nieces and nephews, and I can tell you that every one of my nieces and nephews sit in these chairs. This is a very interesting job. It's enjoyable. It's satisfying. It's one of the few jobs in life where you can honestly say that you may have made a difference. You know, you may have saved a life. You may have kept a child from being hurt, injured, or even killed at that point, and you know, and that's a good feeling.